Welcome to this tutorial on creating 3D models from AI-generated images using Blender and FSpy. In this video, we'll show you how to use FSpy to match the perspective of an AI-generated image, create geometry based on the image's perspective, project the image onto the geometry, and modify the texture and lighting in Blender to achieve a realistic final result. Step 1. Choose an image with a clear perspective. Choose an image that has a clear and recognizable perspective which will make it easier to match the perspective in FSpy later on. You can use an image from an AI generative image model such as Midjourney or any other source. Step 2. Match the perspective using FSpy. Open the chosen image in FSpy, a free and open source software that helps match the perspective of a photo to a 3D scene. To do this, you'll need to place markers on the image to indicate the position and angle of the camera when the photo was taken. You can use the vanishing points and horizon lines in the image to help guide your marker placement. Once you've placed enough markers, FSpy will generate a camera data file that you can import into Blender. Step 3. Import the FSpy file using the Blender add-on. In Blender, you can import the camera data file from FSpy using the FSpy add-on. This will automatically set up the camera and the scene to match the perspective of the original image. You can adjust the camera settings if needed to get the desired composition. Step 4. Create geometry based on the perspective using the camera and the FSpy data as a reference. You can start creating 3D geometry to match the perspective of the original image. You can start with basic shapes and gradually build up the detail as needed. You can also use modifiers such as array or mirror to speed up the process and ensure symmetry. Step 5. Project the AI image onto the geometry. Once you have created the basic geometry, you can project the AI-generated image onto it using the UV Project modifier. This modifier allows you to map the texture from the AI image onto the geometry based on the UV coordinates of the faces. You can adjust the UV coordinates to get the desired mapping and use the texture as a guide to refine the geometry. Step 6. Adjust the texture and lighting. To get a more realistic and visually appealing result, you can adjust the texture and lighting in the scene. You can adjust the properties of the material to match the surface of the real building and add details such as bumps, scratches, or patterns. You can also adjust the lighting to create shadows and highlights that match the lighting in the original image. By combining all of these elements, you can create a realistic 3D representation of the building based on a single 2D image. And that's it. With this tutorial, you should now have a good understanding of how to use AI-generated images, FSpy, and Blender to create stunning and accurate 3D models of real-world objects. Whether you're a 3D modeling enthusiast or a design professional, we hope this tutorial has been helpful to you.